So you beat me to the punch this morning. What do you mean? I, I woke up a couple before you. What? Kinda. Yeah, I just got up. What time do you wake up? 7.15. What's, what's the big, uh, what's the difference now? What do you mean? Like what's the, what's the difference in get up time? Well, on, when it's jaywalking, it's always, you know, getting up early. No, 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 but that's really, you were used to knock it up till what? 7.30, 7.45 a lot. Shout out to Big Steve. Yeah, I love that shirt. Shout out to Big Steve. I have a thing of clothes for you right here. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Did you use your Throthra yet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not yet. But Still in the box? Yeah. So how do, you make, how do you mix your coffee in the morning? A coffee, just for your... What do you mean? With a spoon. <laughs> Is this for coffee? Is this for actual I coffee? I mean, that's what, that's what we use it for. Oh, yeah. I mean, I use it for protein shakes too. Ah. Because my protein mix is super easy, you know. Yeah, yeah. So Christmas ready. Is this our last jaywalk before Christmas? Last Christmas, yeah. But I always wonder to the places that, like our international people that live in places that are super warm, how Santa Claus is such a thing with a sleigh and reindeer. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, we should ask. Let people know, let us know how it's like in your country. They still talk about Santa Claus. I would think it's worldwide, yeah. It was such a big thing. I mean, <laughs> like you'd go to the mall and you'd take a picture with Santa Claus. Yeah. And I want, that must just still be doing that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it, uh, they would do it at, uh, at the baseball park here in Vegas. Okay. Two years ago I went and they were doing that still. Bunch of kids and... Did you go to the enchantment lights? You didn't yeah, go this year? Yeah, I went. This year though or no? Not this year. Oh, okay. But it's nice. Like it's a big thing season. here. Yeah. They have a nice rink, like chocolate. chocolate yeah, nice. yeah, we went last year. It's nice, yeah. She yeah. wanted to go back this year and I was like, ah, you know, it it's... It puts you in the spirit, yeah. All right, so we are, we're going to do a little jaywalk. Daisy's the only one here now. She's sleeping on my shirt. Angie took the blanket, so. Uh, so let's do a little jaywalk and um, catch up for our last one of the year, huh? That's it. So. Well, today's the day. What's today? Tuesday, right? Uh, no, Wednesday. Oh, uh, Wednesday, right. I washed my car, but the uh, bird poop are hard, hard to get out. <laughs> huh? I washed my car, but the bird poops are So, on. what are they, sitting under your trees, or...? I think they're sitting on my roof. They poop on my car. A lot of dust today. Yeah. A lot of action going on here. These guys, I think they watch this. They might. No, I think they do. I wouldn't be surprised. So is it easier to hold this camera than the other one? Uh, it's different, but it's good. But it's easier, it's lighter, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just so I shot a training video the other day and just let this thing run the whole time. Oh yeah? The, the newest upload is one hour. What do you mean? The newest video I'm uploaded right now on back into JTV is a one hour long. Really? 53 minutes. Oh, you filmed that? Well, yeah, with J-Mac we filmed. Wow. Did a vlog and training. That's a long one. Yeah, it's just got uploaded last night. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? I like long videos. Yeah, we're gonna test it and see how long, uh, how people like it, you yeah, know? I like it. People can just sit and run it while they they do cardio. Work at their desk or whatever yeah, else, yeah, you know? Yeah, doing the cardio, yeah. Yeah, so I, like, I, I've been on a different track now with this fasted cardio. I haven't been doing as much now. No? Nah, man, I'm, I, I wanted to quit and give my body a break, you know, doing the same thing all the time. Yeah. And see if uh, that change would do any good for me. And I feel like I'm staying actually, I feel like I'm staying almost leaner. Really? Does that make sense? I mean, your metabolism is racing. Yeah. So when, you're telling more, when your metabolism is fast, it's like it's not going to slow down. I mean, obviously, I've been training seven days still, too. Oh, but there you go. But, you know, I train pretty easy, dude. Yeah. It's not like it's, it's that difficult, you know? I know, but still. And, uh, 
You know, the holidays always, it's, it's always a troublesome time for a lot of people, right? Because, you know, they get with family and they get off track and... A lot of parties. A lot of parties and the food, you know, their food is a little messed up, but... You know, that's where discipline really needs to come in. You know, when I, when I speak to people, they're like, you know, I'm really disciplined and I follow a, a great schedule and this and that. But, you know, like I was saying to someone last night where I was having a conversation and I honestly could say that I felt like I was one of the most structured bodybuilders in my early years ever, you know? Like, I, I know people brag about, oh, they do this or do that. But, dude, I literally would like... It was like eat, sleep, train. And I always talk about, yeah. and these kids nowadays love that, that so, so boxy lifestyle, but that falls with anything. It's not just, it's not just for, you know, I, we talk about weight training cause that was kind of our, our like obsessive hobby, right? Yeah. But structure with anything to have, you know, to rate, they, you know, you raised all those kids and yeah. like you had to have some sort of routine on a daily basis, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I liked about competing. Whenever I would compete, I always felt my life was always better and more structured, more, I don't know, just organized, I guess. Yeah. I think I, I, no choice. I, think I felt that way too. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I was like structure, structure, structure for a show. Yeah. And then, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay Cutler. You are Jay Cutler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way that's Jay Cutler. Yeah, yeah. We film all our st we film all our stuff. You probably see it on YouTube. No, oh, pleasure, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. It's awesome, man. N nice to meet you, bro. Ah, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, structure with with. Yeah. I mean, everything that we do, right? And I would travel, so I had yeah. to have, you know, remember, I had to be on time. Flights, oh, yeah. commitments, uh, guest appearances, events. You know, Dave Lieberman just sent me a bunch of pictures uh, of, like, West Coast Classic and his show, and he's like, a lot of great memories. Yeah. Dave's such a good guy. He follows all our stuff. So shout out to Dave Lieberman, because I know you're watching this right now, and he loved the magazine one. Oh, uh, yeah. I got a lot of good compliments on it that. It's a good one, yeah. I think a lot of people can relate. You know? Right? Yeah. For sure. They see he t talked about yeah, I'd help the GNC guy unpack the the uh the magazines, you know. Yeah. Yes. It's just crazy how many people you touch on that kind of stuff, right? Oh. It brings back a lot. I mean, that sense tends, tends to be what a lot of the jaywalking stuff is. Yeah. Right? Did you have a did you have a place where on Christmas Day you'd go sledding or anything uh, in Montreal when you were younger, you and your brother? We wouldn't wait for Christmas. I mean, during the winter when we were young. Was there a big hill that everyone went to? Yeah. Yeah, and it was sometimes we would, uh, we would do outings with cool. Really? Well, yeah. And we'd go sled on the, the, the big tubes. That was fun. Yeah, we had a hill in our back, like by the farm, but there was this big hill that wasn't too far from us, bro. And they had, uh, like the snowmobiles would drag everyone up. Oh. So you didn't have to walk all the way back up after going down. Cause that was the worst part, yeah. right? Was, was about going back up after coming down a massive hill. Well, if you pay, like when we were going to those school outing, uh, you could actually like, grab a rope. Oh, they had a rope set up? Yes, and it would have pulled you over. Okay. That was fun. See, we, we are in small town, yeah. so it wasn't like that. You know what I mean? So that's what would affect us. You know yeah. what I mean? You had to pay. Oh, you did? Yeah, of course. Like a school, school outing. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes we would go bowling. Sometimes we would go to arcade. Well, your parents probably paid, didn't they? Of course. Yeah, I was young. Yeah. But that was fun. All day. We could do that all day. Really? With the trips, yeah. How many runs do you think you would do in a day? Oh my God. Countless. Really? Yeah. It was so much fun. You know you do that at Mount uh, um, Charleston? Mount Charleston, yeah. Yes, they do it. Really? Yeah, they did. I, have you gone or? No, because when I, when I looked it up, it was the quarantine. 
So oh, of course, oh. I'm not doing it, but that's something you could do. Yeah, during the winter. That might be a good JTV. Hell uh, yeah. Hell yeah. So you're telling me that they'll pull me up the hill? I'm sure. I mean, that's... I know the skiing and stuff up there, but... Yeah, yeah there was, uh, you know, riding on tubes and stuff. Too. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool. I'd do it today, too. Yeah. Now, you know, you need like snow suits and stuff. I don't have any more snow suits, but I would have to get one. Like snow pants and stuff, you know? Yeah, Young LA just came out with them. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can just get you one from Young LA, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, because you're always on, you know. Yeah, you're on the ground. Yeah, constantly. Uh, Hi, guys. Hey, hey, man. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Young LA just dropped their whole snowboarding outfits. Yeah, I miss, yeah. I miss being a kid in the snow. I think once you're once when you're a kid, you don't mind the snow so much. You actually kind of like no, it. you loved it when it's because snow yeah. days and everything else. School's closed. I was just talking to Angie. She's like, "It's not snowing here yet." I said, "Well, yet, yet, yet." <laughs> she comes back the 26th though. I'm sure she'll get some. It listen. It always made Christmas better when it snowed, oh, didn't boy. it? And my brothers had snowmobiles, and I used to take my ATVs, bro. But you know what? I it was funny because uh, you know I had three wheelers because four wheelers didn't weren't out yet. Yeah. My dad came home when I you know I was 12 years old. My birthday's in August. And I saw that three wheeler sitting on the back of the truck. You're so lucky. And he spent a thousand dollars to buy that that 110 ATV Honda ATV, and. uh I remember just going through the snow and it would get too deep so I could, didn't get the traction. Yeah, yeah. So it was nice when you got a nice like amount of like light snow. Yeah. But as soon as you got more heavy snow, yeah. dude, it, it just didn't you push see. through. Yeah. 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 So I had to wait for the snowmobiles to make all the tracks. Yeah. And then of course for it to get cold enough that it would freeze. Yes. And then I'd go out and ride through all the trails. Dude, I remember we spent hours we spent hours out on the trails through the woods and the trails are like this, right? Yep. Then you get a random straight away. Yep. You'd be able to go great. No snowmobile, we had three of them actually. Really? Point, yeah. So I love that because I would come home from school and I used to have right next to like a big field, like a farmer field sort of. And then I would just get out of the garage and just go right. Dude, I would love to own a snowmobile now. Oh, it's fun. And be able to just go like to Utah or whatever for. Oh, it's so fun. Just and go and, I, you know, just renting them and stuff like that. I just don't know if you have to follow, like if there's, you have to follow someone or not, you know? I don't know. They're fast now, dude. They're dude, they're crazy. They're, my, no, they have all the crazy suspension now. Yeah. They didn't have that. We had oh. ski -Doos. What was your brand? Do you remember? Yeah. Bombardier. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an that's an old one, bro. It, it is, yeah. Yeah. It was yellow yeah. or black. It was yellow with my dad painted. And it had the big, big. It looked like a big bubble, or yeah. yeah. And it had a short track, right? Yeah, it wasn't that long. Because I mean, now the tracks are really long, oh, yeah. so they because they get so much power. My dad bought it like old, uh, really old, and. What do you think it was like a '72 or? Shit, I can't remember. My brother had like a '72. Articat, I think. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't think it was that old mine, but uh, it wasn't very powerful the first one, you know. But, but then when we really got into it, then you got some non, some monster. We're gonna get people that are from these these places with um with crazy snow. Be like, you need to come up and go oh, snowmobiling. It's so much fun. That'd be a great JTV thing too, oh, bro. Yeah. It's so much fun. Right? Yeah. Man, yeah, good. The kid memories, and that's why I th when I think when Christmas always comes about, I think about yeah, like the things we used to do, and yeah, you prayed for snow, man. I, know. I remember waking up on Christmas several mornings and being like, "Oh my God, it's snowing outside right now." Oh man, you'd get so excited, you know. Yeah, it makes it makes Christmas more Christmas. Yeah. Sure. And you sit and watch the movies, and yeah. I still do that. You do? I still watch. Like Christmas what? Movies. What have you watched so far Christmas this year? Vacation, Home for the Holidays, uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. You watched all these already? Uh, not uh, not all of them, but a few. In Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone's good, yeah. But every year I'll watch them. It's like a tradition. Did you watch Die Hard? No, not yet. That's a good. That's one. a Christmas movie. That's a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, so last jaywalk of the year, bro. Yeah. Well, this isn't the last jaywalk. That this is the last one we're filming, but yeah, you're gonna miss it, you know. I know. Do you do any cardio whatsoever now? After a workout, usually. Still. Like twenty minutes. Yeah. Is it leaning you down? Do you think think about New Year's resolutions yet? No, not yet. Just trying to enjoy the holiday. I need you to do a little uh, planning. Okay. So when I see you next, and we shoot the year end. I need you to have something that is a New Year's resolution. Okay. That can be very simple. Okay. Because I think everyone should have, in 2024, I'm going to do this or that. Yeah. Right. So, make sure uh, we have that plan. And uh, guys, let us know about your favorite Christmas memories, where you guys are located. I mean, you talked about snowmobile and sledding. Yeah. How much we spent on Christmas gifts. <laughs> I loved, I love to know who spent the most on Christmas gifts on our, yeah. on our jaywalk uh, crew. Because I know you guys probably spent a lot. I don't Christmas shop though. I know you don't. I don't really celebrate. Is that bad or? You used to. Yeah, not so much anymore. But uh, guys, keep watching and. Uh, and uh, we'll keep kind of posted. I may drag a couple other things in this video today, but appreciate you guys so much, all right? Yep. Keep crushing it. Merry Christmas, everybody. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I flipped the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep, because I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me?